Hey, what's going on, everybody? Drama B here. I wanted to talk to you all about being a musician and taking on fatherhood. For those who don't know, I have three children. My oldest is seven. The middle one is about to be six. And the youngest one is three. So, and I've started my music career back in 2009. And I'm still succeeding right now in music, as I would say. Depends on what success is to you. But... I want to come on here and just talk to you about what it's like to have children while being a full-time artist, how to manage these things. And if you do have children, it'll help. And if you don't, it'll help you navigate whether right now is the time to have children while you're doing music. As I said, my oldest is seven years old. You know, that was <laughs> such a blessing, you know, um, when he was born. You know, it was pure motivation for me to pursue music even harder, right? Um, but I didn't understand that, you know, a child is just a lot of time that you have to put into raising a child. Thankfully, I have a beautiful, wonderful wife that literally makes my job a bit easier. So that's number one. Make sure that you have in, you know, children with the right person, a person that'll understand what you're what you're chasing what you're trying to achieve understand the bigger picture my wife understands the bigger picture and so my life with my children has been a bit easier to manage my music and manage being a father also manage being a husband so when my son came i was more motivated than ever right I was I was putting chains on them. <laughs> I was doing so much, you know what I'm saying? It's it's cuz when you have a child, you you just want nothing but good for them, right? You want to see them smile, laugh, happy and all that stuff, right? But it comes to time where especially if you're a musician and um this is something to take into effect. You may be outside or somewhere nice and playing with your child with the family, everybody is having fun, may go to the trampolines or, or like, you know, the, the ninja warrior stuff, right? You may go there, but then you may get a phone call. And this is what happens with music. Music is so sporadic. You may get a phone call where you need to write, you need to do these, these, uh, these tasks because there's a deadline, right? And you have to leave that place to go to the studio, go get it done and be able to submit it in just enough time. That happens like with sync, you know, uh, my three Netflix placements, right? Uh, those were like, like emergency placements in a sense, you know, um, it was a deadline. Like the person would hit me up and I only have maybe, maybe 10 hours, five hours to s submit a complete song. You know, they'll give me the details or whatever I need to do. And I need to craft the instrumental. I need to put it together or I need to reach out to another producer, put it together. You know what I'm saying? Because when, when those type of deals come in, you want to make exactly what they want. Not just go through your library, find something that's similar and send it. No, you want to make what they want. And so, you know, I find I found that that was tough, you know, doing that because it's a little heartbreaking. You would sit there, you know, you're having fun and then a phone call happened. You go to, to the side and you're like, dang, you know, I'm out with the family, but oh, man. Or you get an email and you're just like, babe, I got to go. I got to go. I'm sorry, but we got to go or I got to go, you know? And um, thankfully, my wife is always like, hey, go ahead, do your thing. Or she'll be like, okay, we'll, we'll go home. We'll make sure something, you know, you, you, got, you have your space to do your work. Um... Being a father and a musician is also scary. And the reason why it's scary is because music is so spotty, it's, you know, with payments and all that stuff too. And there's many ways to make money off of your music, which I'll explain that in a future video, um, like probably like five ways to, you know, maximize your income with music because I've done it plenty of times. But you get scared because you never know, like, yo, is this gonna work out? Is it gonna da da da? But if you ever go through that problem, just have faith in yourself the same way that you did when you first started. And I promise you that it'll lead you down the road of prosperity and secure, secureness, you know, like security. 
and um, you'll be happy with that. So recording, if you have a home studio, it's going to be tough to record when you have children. That's one of my biggest struggles, right? Um, I have to get an establishment outside of my home studio. When I first started, I started with a home studio. So I was used to just recording in the living room, in the room or whatever, wherever my studio is at, right? But when it comes to children, they are loud. And you don't want to take that away from them. So the best thing I do is uh, set time aside um, probably at nighttime or early in the morning, like maybe five, six o'clock in the morning when, when everybody sleep. And that's when I can record my music. Now, me, I don't like to really record at night too much because I've used my voice for the whole day. And so which means that it's, it's not as fresh as when I wake up, go take a shower, brush my teeth, get everything ready. And then, you know, <clears throat> work on my voice, whether I do the <laughs> to get it ready for for you know, the microphone and, and singing and rapping and things like that. <laughs> it is tough. It is tough recording in those hours because, granted, my wife could take the kids out to the park and they could go have a good time, but sometimes you want to attend that. and But there's work to do. And then there's sometimes where it's like you're stuck in the house because you just, you, you have to narrow down and you have to stack up and things like that. You don't want to spend too much money because children are also expensive. You know, yeah, granted, you could take them to the park, but you want to sometimes take them to theme parks. You want to take them, you know, out, get on a plane and do the, all of these things. And you have to be able to hold it down with music in order to make it happen. And that's where, you know, the real struggle comes is the time, time management. So my, I would have a collaboration that I have to do and my kids would be running around the house. I don't want to tell my children, hey, stop running around the house and let me record. But sometimes I do have to do that. Sometimes I do. And sometimes that's going to make you feel like, oh, man, I'm taking their fun away. But here's the thing that you have to think about. The fun is away right now. Soon enough, they're going to be, have to have, they're going to be able to have fun all of, all of their lives, like their whole life. That's what we're doing. That's what we're working for, right? And so what I like to do to make it kind of balanced is I would bring my children in here and I'd be like, listen, daddy got to record for, give me, give me like 20 minutes. Y'all go in a room, uh, watch a show or something like that, whether it's a math show, reading show, or whatever, or go read a book, you know, make money from reading books. I, you know, I, I put that system in play. Hey, you want to, you want to make some bread to buy your toys and everything? Go read some books. So they'll go in the room, read some books, and I have like maybe 20 minutes to carve out a quick verse or, you know, do what I got to do. And um, that's during like the afternoon or something like that. And one other thing that's actually a good thing is that, for instance, my youngest is actually going to be attending uh, school this her first year. Right. And so they're going to there's going to be no children in the house during the summertime is going to be tough because the children are here, are here unless you take them to you know, send them to camp or something like that. But you have them here, is summers are gonna be tough, whether it's video work or whatever the case may be. And granted, the wife can hold it down, but at the same time, you still gotta give her a break as well. So it's like, ah man, I got all right, <laughs> it's crazy. So school times, you know, when my children go to school, that is the optimal time for me to record. So in the summertime, I'm with them. I'm still doing my music, but I'm with them. We're going places. We're doing this and that. But when the, the times when they're in school, I am working hard. I do this full time. I, I, I quit my job in 2014, over a decade ago. My first job working at AMC, quit that, you know what I'm saying, to pursue music full time. And uh, man, huh, it's been great to have the time to be able to utilize you know, information that I gather from so from great sources sources excuse me and put them together and have the time to actually execute that's the thing we can have the time to think of the the game plan but we have to have the time to execute we have to execute okay we have to execute the plan action without action is just an idea and so when they go to school i you know i record i record as much as i can as much as I can. I don't care if I'm tired. My voice sometimes, like people, they, they hit me and be like, yo, drama, I got a new song for you. And I'm just like, hey, man, 
I, and I and I literally voice voice note them with my ras my my voice is not even raspy. Excuse it's gone because I've been working that hard for the week. So I was like, I gotta get my my voice a a break for the week or something like that for it to come back, and then I could go again and go hard. You know what I'm saying? So I do that during the whole school year. Any time that I have where I can just work, I do it during the whole school year. That way in the summertime, it could be a little slow down, spend time with the children, go do some music videos, go do this, go do that, handle the business and stuff like that. But the optimal time to do these things, like recording and everything, if you have children, is when they're in school. If they're homeschooled, good luck. You need to bring your studio into a different establishment. That way you can go over there and travel right to your establishment and make your music. So that's one of the the things that you know I gotta work on. I gotta work on getting another establishment. That way I can, you know, put the studio there. Um, I did that with a studio before, and it was actually great. Uh, home was home, and studio was studio. You know what I'm saying? So also separating the two is 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 really eye changing. It's really life changing, actually. Um, I, I just I just remembered it. Um, I was going to a studio. And when I go to the studio, it's just a studio. There's no other distractions. So all I do is make music there. And so and it's a studio I was going to for free. I was, I was fine. I didn't have to pay anything because I helped like, build the clientele there. I helped build the name and all that stuff. So I was able to go there for free and just work. But I missed my home studio and you know, being able to just to get up and record. You know, That's what you're going to miss. But I would have kept on doing that. Because home felt like home. When I got home, it was just the children, my wife. It felt great. It was amazing, you know. But at the same time, when I went to the studio, I was just so over that studio, man. Like, it was great memories, but it was a lot of bad memories. So it's like, you know, and I felt like a lot of time was wasted there as well. So when I go there, it was, the energy just wasn't right. So I had to bring my stuff back here where the energy is right, you know. The energy is right here. So let me just bring my stuff back here and let me just do what I got to do. That was a, I guess, I don't know if, what, if that was a right move or a wrong move. All I know is that I did it and here we are and I'm making music. I just released two records uh, last month and um, so far right now, they, they both like combined equals up to 500,000 streams, 500,000. So having this here, awesome. Having my home studio here, still awesome. When you have children... You have to focus on what's more important when it comes to music as well. So as I just told you guys, 500,000 streams, right? Off of, off of two songs combined that I released last month. Now, those were important songs. So I had to carve out certain times where it's like, I could be experimental. I could carve out times for experiments like with music. But those projects, when you have that free time, you need to work on those first, those projects that actually mean something that will go somewhere, and you know it'll go somewhere. Whether you're working with a with a with a famous producer, whether you're working with a famous artist, whether you're working with somebody who has reputation for their production, their their artistry, their their lyrics, or whatever the case may be, you have to prioritize that when you do have the free time. I see a lot of artists that they'll go into the studio and they you know they'll they'll try to make the song you know right then and there, and they, they experiment and all that stuff, and it's just like hey, listen. What you need to do is go out there, communicate, because while your children are in the house and if you're in the house and everything, you, you, you don't have to necessarily record all the time. You can just take your phone right here, go on Messenger or WhatsApp or whatever, and just start conversations with other people that can lead to something that will be like reputable. It'll be a big project. But you have to go out there, go on your phone, and you have to go do that business. And so a lot of time shouldn't, if you have children or if you don't have children, a lot of time could be spent on recording, but a lot of time should be spent on connecting with people that could connect you to bigger projects. That is like so, so important. Connecting with other people because other people will connect to other people, which will lead to bigger projects. Why do you think that my song No Glory happened? You know, the song No Glory, Scan, Crail, Mime, Drama B. Literally, No Glory. Over 300. If you add YouTube views with it and TikTok and all that shit, man, No Glory has over 600, 700 million streams altogether. And that big project came from. 
me, I didn't even reach out to be on that project. I had a connection with, for instance, uh, just to give you some context, I had a connection with Skank because we did songs in the past. From him reaching out to me, from me, from him doing a job, reaching out to me for a big project. And he had it in mind. He knew what he wanted. We did it. We released it. Boom, right? So this song, No Glory, comes. And it's like, okay, I'm not on it yet. He shows me uh, the instrumental uh, the minds verse everything. I'm just like, yo, this is so dope, man. It'll be so dope. If they ask me if I could be on this, but I'm not gonna ask them. No, I want them to tell. I want them to ask me though. Next thing you know, they ask me, yo, yo scan ask me. He's like, yo, bro, I, it would be crazy if you're on this. I'm like, yes, yes, let's go. It's a big project, right? And so I'm like, yeah, this is great. So honestly, I should have told him from the beginning, like, yo, put me on this, put me on this. But it still worked out. It still worked out. And it all came from the connection that I built beforehand. So projects come, but it's going to take some time. All right. So while you're here, out here with your children and everything, you're doing your thing with them. Understand that you can also be furthering your career by using your device, by talking to other people. And that's what I did. So it's not always about recording. I've Because of my children, I shrunk my, sh my, my uh, recording time by a lot. I, I shrink it a lot. So I only do like important projects and maybe some experimental ones when I get a chance, but I have a family, so I need to make income. Income has to happen. So I have to work on these big projects. And it's not saying I don't want I don't want to work on these big projects. I love these big projects. They they would feed my family. They're fun. They're exciting to see the views go up, to get paid from it, to see the streams go crazy, to get paid from it. And I'm gonna I'm going to, in, in future videos, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do what I do, okay? So be on the lookout for that, okay? Again, this is just no jump cuts. This is just straight me talking to you. Um, no no edits. No, it's, You might get a little color correcting, but I don't even know if I'm going to do that. Who knows? I just might upload this as it is. But if I, if I do got a little color correction, it's cool. I like color correcting and <laughs> DaVinci Resolve. I'm also a videographer. I'm a producer. I rap. I sing. I do an audio engineer. I did the whole thing that has this whole thing going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, very multi-talented. And, you know, that's something else that you can pass down to your children. So, listen, having children is not a bad thing. It's just more of a serious situation. When you have children and you're a musician, you have to take it all serious. You can play around with your children. You can have fun, play wrestling and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, you have to remember they are relying on you. And so that's always in the back of my mind. So it's like, hey, okay, cool. What can I do with my musical talents that'll make it go? You know what I'm saying? If if I could focus on just trying to be a celebrity or or this and that, that and this, but there's so many different ways to make money in music that people have not discovered, that people, it's right in their face, but they just don't know. And I will get to those, like I said, in a later video. But that pretty much sums up what it's like having children um, while you're a musician. It's very tough. It is very time consuming. It's very noisy. And when you need quiet, you know, it's very, uh, but it's very loving. And, and I wouldn't trade it for anything, to be honest with you. My, my children right now are camping with uh, my wife right now. They're out there camping. And I'm here. I've been here for like maybe three days already so far. Uh, they went camping. They, I think they're going to stay another day today. Um, and she's doing that. Like, this is what I mean by you have to have the right spouse. You have to have the right woman. She is like, I asked her today. I'm like, hey. Are y'all coming home today? She was like, uh, do you need us to come home? We can stay another day if you need to work. You see? You need you need that. You need that. So if you do decide to have children, make sure it's with the right person. Especially if you're a musician. And try not to have so many. <laughs> because it's going to just add to the noise. You know what I'm saying? Try not to have so many at one time. Um, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Space it out a little bit. One child is a lot. Two children is a whole lot. Three children's bonkers. Four don't even five. Oh my goodness, my mother had five children. So listen, tough. It gets tough. So execute. Go out there if you have children. Uh, take those tips that I had said and um, use them. See if they work with you. Like work for you. See if they work for you. Um, if you don't have children, use this to decide if you want to have children right now in your career. 
if you're a musician. Um, again, time and all that plays a factor. Being there for your children, too, because you have to have time for them as well. You can't just be on music all day, 24-7. You have to be on morals, teaching them uh, morals, principles, and all of these things. You have to teach them. You have to teach them what, you know, the things that you were not taught. And here's the thing about it. Having children also led me, because I didn't have so much time to record, it led me to do so much research. That's, that's, that's the kicker right there. So much research on how to elevate my career in different ways to make money from my career. Because I couldn't record, so I'm like, okay, let me research on what I could do for music. And trust me, it's amazing. So if you do have children and you're looking for a time, you can't record, you're frustrated, go do some research on how to improve your career. Because all the research that I did, notes that I've written down, all of that stuff, it has came in handy, heavily, heavily, <laughs> seriously. So... Use it as, I don't even know how to say this. Use, use this video as a stepping stone or a, maybe a, just a warning or something like that. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> but yeah, Listen, I don't know, man. But uh, I think that's going to conclude this video, okay? Um, this is my first like uh, video on this channel where it's like this, this long and just full with information and I'll be doing more videos like that if you want this. So please, if you've watched it all the way through to right now, you're a real supporter. You're a real one. Right in the comment section if you watched it from the beginning to end. Okay? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if it helped at all. It's just a new thing I'm just starting where it's just I put the camera right here and just talk. Just let you guys know. No scripts, no nothing. No pointers, no bullet points, no keeping on track with what I'm talking about. It's just the things that's on my mind, just letting you guys know in the experience that I've been through, just letting you all know. So to all my musicians, keep on pursuing what you love because there's no other feeling than listening to your own music and loving it and sharing it with the world. There's no better feeling than, than just doing what you love to do. And if it's music, continue it. God bless everybody that watched this video. And if you didn't watch it, God bless you too. Have a great, great day. Have a great night. Don't know what time it is where you at. God bless you all. And Drama B, signing out. Wait, before I do, make sure you go check out my music on Spotify as well or Apple Music. Or go to dramabmusic.com. Also, you go to Track in Threads. That's Track, T-R-A-C-K, the letter N, T-H-R-E-A-D-S.com. Track in Threads.com to get some t-shirts, some, some merch, or whatever the case may be. That's basically the track is within the thread. So my lyrics are on my shirts, and you know you get to re represent those words. So Track in Threads. And uh, dramabmusic.com if you want to buy some music or see what's going on with my career. And Spotify, because I, you know, even though people hate Spotify or people complain about it, it is still an engine that works. It still gets you out there. So check out my Spotify. That's where my, that's where my numbers is crazy at. So go ahead and go do that. All right. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. I'm out of here. <laughs>